This will be a spoiler stream. Hello, everybody. I'll wait. I'll wait a minute before I begin. We will begin the pre-stream ritual where we clasp our hands to our chest. What, I don't know what that means, but we, you, you do that, and then you, and then you uh, pray to some kind of deity, whoever it may be, deity. When you're going hard under the floorboards. Anyway, anyway, welcome to the stream. I played a little bit more of this. Um, still good, still frustrating, but good. And I played more of this, and today uh, we're going to do... I was requested that I to do a stream of this because I'm at a part that's apparently very good. There's like a whole sequence that I'm about to do that, that's apparently very, very good. So, I hope you're all doing well. And uh, remember, this will be... Big spoilers. Welcome. If you haven't played Dragon Quest XI ever, you might not want to watch this, unless you just don't give a shit, which is fine. Um, it's still, like, it's 20 hours in. So it's like spoilers, it's not endgame spoilers, it's, it's probably like quarter game or whatever, I don't know, 30% game spoilers, but... is good. So I've been really enjoying this game. As you know, I've been I've been gambling. Uh, well, I did gamble. I haven't gambled recently in the game. So here we go. Okay. Yeah, well, actually, wow, 24 hours and 23 minutes. I thought I was at 20. That's... okay. That's more than I thought. Where'd those four hours come from? Uh, so I have all the characters. If you don't want to know who the full party is in this game, you might not want to watch. So... You know, all right. Uh, you've been warned several times. We have to, um... Get a bunch of orbs. It gets spoiled in the intro. Oh yeah, it does. Not only does it get spoiled in the intro, who your party members are, it gets spoiled in the loading screen. Look, look at the lads on the bottom there. You can see the shape of them. Alright. Well, anyway, um, people have been asking me, Vinny, how, you know, where are you in this game? How have you been enjoying it? And every day I've been kind of going over like, just little by little, what progress I've made. And this is Italy. Welcome to Fantasy Italy. Presto, presto! If you don't work faster, we no finish before nighttime. Hmm, you talk to me? Scusa, I have no work for you. I already have enough people. So, that really is just Italy. Oh, also... Where is it? Um... 38 silver spins. There's a screenshot I took. Oh, what's this? This dude. I just like this guy. I took a picture of him. He's, he's like, kind of in the story later, but... I just... Yeah, that dude... I don't know why they did that. I don't know why that poor guy has his tongue out like that. How does he eat? It's too much to choose. Prego, prego, you want a pretty cat suit? See, it's very cheap. Ah, my brother, he offered you the cat suit for 98 hundred gold coins. He's too generous, troppo generoso. I make a special deal for you. One cat suit, only 9,000 gold coins. You want, see? No. Eh, you no know, interested? Then you wasted my time. Arrivederci. 
Yeah, so uh, this whole area, there's a couple of cool events that have happened here, but it's just ridiculous. Uh, also, the reason I have on this outfit... Oh, by the way, this is... That sword is the result of two hours slot machine gambling. Just so you know. Um, so that's... Yeah. So I also have other outfits. This one's a little ridiculous. This one's not so bad, but uh, you get these outfits as you go. This was the DLC outfit, which is a Dragon Quest Eight outfit, you know. Keep talking to the brothers for the cat suit. Keep talking to lower to 1k. Vinny, can you get the bunny suit? This is extremely important. Yeah, uh, all right. Chat, is there any way to go back to the regular outfit? Because I'm wearing this, and if I take the outfit off, I, it's just that. No, I'd have to take off the, the stuff. Alright, so then I'll just leave it at this. It's fine. Um, okay, so, alright, so who's the other brother that sells the cat suit then? Beautiful cat suit. I have the most beautiful cat suits in all of Gondolia. My brother, he offered you the same cat suit for 9,000. Is ridiculo. I give you special price, 8,000 gold coins. No. Boy, I could just lie to these dudes and they'll just, just keep dropping. Que spavento! He's a big shock! My brother, he sell the cat suit for only 8,000. Ufa! Who does he think he is, eh? Half price, 4,000. No? Then you no waste of my time. Arrivederci. But you regret this, I promise. Madon. Fangul. Son of a bitch. My brother, he offer you for 4,000 gold of coins. Santo Chielo. Bene, he no beat me this time. I sell you the cat suit for 2,000 gold coins. You take it, see? No. So why do I even need this fucking cat suit, chat? Oh, whatever. I'm gonna get it anyway. Goodness gracious. He sell for 2,000 gold coins and I sell for 1,000. 1,000 gold coin, only for you. I never go no lower than this, senor. You take it, this incredible offer, see? Sure. You are a good salesman. Is a great style for you, but you look even more bellissimo if you also buy the cat hat from the armor shop. Cat hat? Stunks. Bongs. You know how it is. Who can wear the cat suit anyway? The, the bunny. Oh, that- this is- no. Uh, that's the bunny suit. Who can wear the cat suit? Chat, what am I doing with this fucking thing? It's- it's for Veronica? It's for Veronica! <laughs> hey, it's better! It's actually pretty good. She becomes Garfield. Sir Jasper told me to stay here and keep an eye on the dark spawn in case he comes back. Speaking of which, your hair. So smooth and shiny, I wish mine was like that. There's a big storyline thing here. Um, involving, you know, the dark spawn and all that. I guess I should... Does she actually become a cat? How do you feel about the generic soldier designs? Oh, I love them. All right, I'm gonna spend a ridiculous amount of money so that Veronica can become a cat, specifically Garfield. Oh, God, what am I doing with my life? All right. <laughs> oh, this is silly. That's so silly. 
She can also become a piglet, too. <laughs> I guess I have this. Remember, she's not a child. She's an adult who is, like, turned into a child. It's kind of a cool... coolish outfit for Eric. No, I'm telling you, that's the actual storyline. She is the same age as Serena. And she was turned into a child by a magical wizard. That's real lore, whether you like it or not. Now, she's not a 1,000-year-old dragon, and as far as I know, everything here is kosher and above board. But I'm just saying, it's weird. Someone just said chat is stupid. Are we starting early tonight, chat? Okay, so anyway, uh, I don't really need to... What am I doing here? Oh, um... It's... it's Now it is time. Wait, is that a quest over there? Do you have a quest for me? No. Oh. I, I need your assistance. Could you deliver another letter? It's going to Porto Valor. Oh yeah, sure. I'm going there anyway. Uh, so again, spoilers for today's stream for anyone who's just joining. Okay, I'll take this letter. Uh, you know, uh, this is like after a part of the game where you... ...have to, you figure out what you have to do, and you have to get a bunch of orbs. And I have to go to a place now. This is Silvando's personal slave. I mean, uh, Dave. Personal Dave. Not you, Dave. I... this... So, uh, yeah, the world map is cool in this game. It's very blue. Nighttime in this game is very, very blue. But, um, you know, at first your boat can only go within these areas. So you get the boat, and then you can't really exit. I think because there's a, a gate. See that gate over there? I think the, the story I have to do is open that gate. The chat hasn't met Silvando. They did. Previous stream they met Silvando. Oh god, here's the music. I, I've been floored by this music so many times, it's just so good. This is the Dragon Quest VIII world map music that I've, um, specifically turned off this game's world map. Because you could just download it, it's like free DLC. Oh, I don't like them. The slugs. They, uh, man, could you imagine what people do to those things? Yeah, and this port does look pretty good. I have to say, I'm very impressed with this port. Very good performance, too. Here it is. Just a great fucking song. My god. There's the place. This is actually where they streamed from the Nintendo Treehouse at E3. Which made me want to get the game. Also, these things are very cute. 
there. <laughs> but now they not they they have to die. Let's keep at it. Why is there a purple one? Snooty slime knight? Well anyway, um this character Jade, who is wonderful, she can give Puff Puff, so we're gonna do that real quick. Rarified gives more XP. Okay. Well, my character is totally overpowered. Whoa, not quite! That thing is still alive. Okay. Boy, that, that thing is very powerful. Um, I don't know if Cattle Prod... Beast family monsters? I don't think Cattle Prod's gonna do more extra- more damage to that thing. It's still in love. Come on, fucking die. Maybe we need a little Silvando here. <laughs> He's got the best voice lines. Good. Nice. Good. Yeah, I also... I gambled enough to get Silvando's uh, sword. I got him a really good sword. Deals big damage here. Let's deal some big damage with, with the booty. <laughs> Holy god. Silvando's not, not attacking yet. I think it's because I, I put him in and now... We, there we go. Okay. So he's also pretty powerful right about now. Never mind. It sucks. Unlock dual wielding. Eric has dual wielding. Maybe I will eventually. Silvando has it too? Okay, I gotta keep that in mind. It's a hidden panel of his. Oh, okay. It's a lot of experience we just got there. Holy shit, more heal from Rab? Uh, I'm not gonna do points right now, but yeah, I, I've got them. Oh, and also, I can do a little something special here. So, if you don't mind, chat. This poor Slime Knight. He's just trying to live his life, and here I am. Doing these horrible things to his friend Slime. Randy Balls, Big Balls, Big Fat Balls music. Thank you. That came up. Even the thank you got recognized, and it still picked it up. That's pretty cool. Vinny, the Slime Knight is one being? I don't like the sound of that. That's weird. <laughs> I didn't know I could do that! I'll see you when you're finished here in town. I need to go and see a man about a... Ciao for now! Hey. What came over him all of a sudden? Don Rodrigo lives in that grand old place over yonder. Let's go and see him. Okay, bye, Silvando. So, the cat... Oh, and... Uh, oh, it's so weird. Don't go mentioning my... Royal past, will ye? There's no point in causing a fuss. As far as he's concerned, I'm just his old pal, Rab. Let's keep it that way, all right? I've I've liked all the voice acting. 
in this game. It's all been pretty good, even if it is a little non-distinct at times. I'm looking at you, Eric. I, I don't know where the fuck your accent is, but it's still... still good. You... Oh, no, not you. Uh, he's the most famous and honored hombre in Puerto Valor. You may enter, but do not cause any trouble. Okay. So that's where I need to go. I also... ...need to deliver this letter. Oh, they're on the beach. All the locations in this game... ...are really nice. They've been very... ...well fleshed out. Like, they're all distinct. They look good. They sound good. Well, it's mostly the same music. There's not a lot of music in this game that I've... But there, there's enough, but there's not, like... ...a different song for everyone. Or, and everything. This isn't Final Fantasy VII level of that much music. Um, hola Chico, you like bunny girls, see? I like bunny girls very much. No one in Airdria likes bunny girls as much as me. I've loved them ever since I was a little boy. I saw a bunny girl so beautiful that I was obsessed from that day forward. See, I admit it. I am completely loco. Dude, that's weird. Don't tell me that, I'm a stranger. You're a stranger, I'm a stranger. They're pretty cool, though. But the sad truth is that in all the years I have passed since then, I've never seen another who compared to my first bunny love. But perhaps that is about to change. Chico, you are Miga, your dark-haired lady friend. I think she would make a most beautiful bunny girl. Could you give it a try? Could you prepare a bunny costume for her? And then I could try to persuade her to put it on? <laughs> Muchos gracias, Chico. <laughs> it's good to meet a young man who shares my passion for bunny girls. <laughs> it's made up of three essential elements. Bunny ears, a bunny suit, and a pair of fishnet stockings. I got one of them. Vine accepts a rush of blood. To... A, a, where? To where? A rush of blood to where? Someone just said to the Netherlands. The thing is, I actually have the bunny outfit, I think. I, I just need to purchase some materials. So we'll just do it. This game, in the first... 20 minutes of me streaming this, already so much has happened that has made the chat lose their shit completely. Those don't look like bunny ears. Wow. Oh, this is gonna be such a good... So, these are gonna be good bunny ears. 850 degree hot bunny ears forged with hammer and chisel. I chiseled it. Oh. I just need a green eye. Ooh, for a thousand? I don't know if I want to buy that. Maybe I can find a green somewhere? Critical hits while forging will never pass the arrow marker, just in case you didn't know. I didn't know that. God damn it, chat. I don't know what that means exactly. So, wh what do you mean, like, critical hits? Using this? Oh, this is- I'm gonna fuck this bunny suit up. 
so bad. Or the next strike is doubled. However, the next strike is halved. Uh, it's it, this is not going to turn out great. Fuck. It, it vaguely resembles a suit of armor. Oof. Failure. It, it'll work. You don't get pearls, and you don't get a good one, but it'll work. <sighs> it's actually kind of better than her previous outfit, too. Oh my god. Que bene! He said the transformation complete. Has your friend transformed into a beautiful bunny girl? Muy bien. And all that remains is for her to oblige an old man and put the costume on. <laughs> my dear, you are so very beautiful. Look every bit as mar marvelosa. As the first bunny girl I ever saw. No, more Marvelosa. Sichika, you are the most beautiful bunny girl the world has ever seen. What am I reading? Not everyone can carry the bunny girl outfit, you know. It requires a certain something, and you have it in spades. You agree, see, Chico? You also know that your friend makes a perfect bunny girl? There's a spoiler reason why I wouldn't agree right now. Jade stays, stares coldly at the old man, sighs deeply, and walks off. Ay, ay, ay! Angry bunnies are even more adorable. Kel Jesta. I received Garter. You can make Rab wear the outfit? You, you can fuck off. I don't believe that. It is her best outfit. I'm gonna see if Rab can wear this. No, he cannot. That was lies. That's Jade exclusive? Okay. So here, we're gonna just go back to auto-equip. You can use an outfit look without wearing the items. Reinforce equipment, it's worth it. Uh, yeah. How about, how about I just go to the casino instead? Oh, I, I still gotta deliver a letter to some asshole. M mini metal exchange. You do not have the medals. We shall soon fix that. I'm surprised I haven't done this. You'll be rewarded with prizes, Magnifique. You've brought me eight mini medals. Oh, okay. Item earned, you get Shield Bearer. And now I have to get the Hat of Hermes. The Boots of Hermes.
equip uh equipment. Hang on a minute. I got a garter. What the hell is a garter? It, oh, it's good. Leggy lingerie that's sure to raise an eyebrow or two. S somehow Serena doesn't seem like the type What it, what has this game done to me? Fucking hell. Clairvoyant card imbued with the power to increase defense. Anyway, this is the casino. This is where I spent, like, two hours of my life. Or more. Maybe even a little more than two hours. I didn't get a jackpot. I did not. I wonder if I can do high stakes slots and stuff yet. No, not yet. Well, here's how I started. I started with poker. And I turned like 200 or 100 tokens into thousands. It's fairly easy to exploit, if you do it right. Motherfucker! So you, you can bet the maximum, and then you just play poker. This is just a good way to get to a certain amount. And then you want to do all slot machines. Wow, this is terrible. Oh, I should have kept that queen. Um, and then from here you do double or nothing. And boy, that's gonna be a shit one. Oh, I got it. So now I win 200. So yeah, you do this for a while and then you can get enough tokens... ...to, um, go do some slot machines. The slot machine I was told to play was this one, in particular, and this is where I got, like... Hang on a minute. Volume adjustment. This is where I got a fuckload of money and metal slimes and stuff, so I'll play it for a couple minutes. If you get metal mode, everything doubles. And the game just gives you so much. It specifically feels rigged in your favor, but, I mean, you're still gonna wait two hours to get anything substantial to buy a broken-ass sword. There's a girl that tells you which slot machines you should be playing. Okay. So yeah, you just do this for a while, you get some free spins, you get metal mode, and you are set. So that was how that happened. And then there's these, which... You've reached the maximum number of spins on this machine. Wait, wait really? <laughs> uh, so then there's this, which I didn't play very much of. I've, I've only played this for a little bit, and this is a cool one. cute. Ulysses. You acquire, um, party members, and you fight enemies. I don't know what that means. Forty-five monsters to slime time? So I'm guessing slime time increases your winnings. Oh yeah, you could just play this super quick and just waste all your fucking tokens. Ha! 
Hell yeah. Maximum Gambuloso. Amalgamate with eight slimes to earn a bonus. I failed. Ah! Prime that slime, collect seeds, and defeat the Metal Slime King. How, how fucking advanced is this? This slot machine is insane. Ah, I fucked up. I got a seed of agility. That looked like a like a sad pepper. Oh. Show me what you're made of. Did I win? Yeah. Oh, this is a first. I've never seen this. Guaranteed jackpot. Yes! Plus 1200 tokens, that's not even enough to buy a bunny suit. Goo goo goo. Aim for bar- I- I can't believe this slot machine. Well, I bought the recipe for the bunny suit. Just gonna do the 11 spins. Just 11 more spins, guys. That's all I want to do. That's it. Just 11 more spins. Just seven more spins. Sp oh, I got a party member. I am on a roll. Ah, uh, the best part of the music was coming up. Threat level. This- this brave knight is fighting- what the fuck is this slot machine?! This is crazy! It's just you now, Gulissies. Gulissies has died. Okay. Well that- that's... And then these are the expensive ones. And these are the cheapo ones. I haven't even spun these machines. But, yeah, sometimes the people give you help. Did you play them all? No. Little tip for playing slime quests. The machines, they have moods like a person. It's easier to win if the machine is in a good mood. 
just ask me. I'm here every day. That's how they... Oh, okay. But, yeah, anyway, that's the casino. It's, again, surprising how much casino. Apparently there's another casino in this game, too, later on in, in the game. Then there's this stuff, which is... Some of this is pretty good. I can afford a couple of these things, but they're... Not great. The only other thing I would have wanted was this lightning staff, or lance rather, but I've I've given up. I don't have time for that. I did buy that 100,000 thing, but I, again, I don't have like another hour to get that staff. The game isn't that hard. And I've died a couple times, but it's not, you know, that was my fault. So, chat, um, before I advance the plot, which is all spoilers, considering I haven't been streaming this whole game, um, where is this jackass? Oh! The beach bar? Oh, my. Don Rodrigo was once married, you know, his wife was kind and beautiful lady. She died when he was, when she was still young. Such tragedia. And the fact that the son they had together has left Puerto Valor. No one knows where he is. Aye, it only makes matters worse. One of you. You. You sold your villa. Okay. Uh, you. If you hear a beautiful song out at sea, cover your ears immediately. Immediamente. Immediatamente. I have heard that there are creatures, half human, half fish, that sing sailors to sleep and sink their ships. Be careful out there, amigo. Which half is fish? Oh, this is Valentino. Um, give Akia's letter to Valentino. Only one person who would write me a letter. It's Akia from Gondolia, see? It's been a long time. Let me see what she has to say. Dear doctor, it's been a while, has it not? My apologies for not writing since I last visited. Uh, why am I privy to this information? I have good news. I finally have the money. I can finally pay you to treat my father's leg. We must hurry, Doctor. Please come to con Gondolia right away. Yours expectantly, Akia. Akia still not giving up hope that Abu's leg may one day be healed. I'm a doctor. Akia heard of my reputation and came to me to ask if I could treat her pappy's injured leg. I could not help her because she could not afford. That's why she abandoned her career as a baker. She wanted to earn more money. So that she could save up and pay for the treatment of her pappy. I pappy. Unfortunately, it is impossible for me to treat her father's injury. Please take this letter to Akia. Very important. She must know the truth of the situation. You... You're kind of a jerk. You should just do it anyway. Oh, yeah, this is... well, I'm just gonna go through the roof. Yep, no problem. So this is one way to... ...warp around. I just found out about this today! I didn't know about Zoom. I didn't know about Zoom.
In previous Dragon Quest games, you would actually hit your head on the stuff above you. Welcome back, you delivered my letter. How did he react? No, surely not. He refuses to treat my father, but why? This letter is not addressed to me, it's addressed to Valentino, and the sender is... Abu, my father? Why is my father sending letters to Valentino, and why are you delivering them to me? Perhaps things will become clearer if I read it. Let me see. Dr. Valentino, I have heard that my daughter visited you and asked you to treat my leg. You must do something for me, doctor. If Akia offers to pay for my treatment, I would ask that you refuse. I'd also ask that you give her the few gold coins which I enclose in this envelope. Tell her that they are to help her follow her dream of becoming a baker. Aw. Oh. I've saved up this small sum through my work in the stables in the hope that they might help my dear daughter. I've been a terrible father to my children. Nothing I do now will ever change that. But I would like to try and help in this at least. Thank you, Doctor. So my father knew about my plan in truth. I thought he had forgotten all about me, but it seems my career means a great deal to him. And here I am, having abandoned it all in order to try and help him. He was thinking of me all along, but why make his feelings known through such a roundabout means? Lots of good little quests that I've experienced in this game. Did you get the outfit armor from the horse race? Yes, I did. Press Y twice and you can use zoom. I don't know why I didn't know about that. Maybe I got it in the demo and I forgot that I had it. Veronica teaches it, it to you in the demo. Oh, then I'm I'm a I'm a jackass. So you press the XXX and the YYY, and the XXX and the YYY again. How much? 98. Uh, that's fine. Let me save at the House of Religion. Nondescript religion. How may our church assist you, faithful child? For you must hit the XXX and the YYY to please thy lord. And the XXX and the YYY again. You'll be sucked. Oh, wait. That's... Chat, I do that a lot by accident. I, I quit out of the game a lot by accident. I don't know what other game I'm thinking of, but when I see that... those options, like to, you know, press one button or another, I go for the lower one. I don't get it. Just mash B. Yeah, I think maybe like one in every five saves, I end up going back to the main menu. So it's not a lot, but it's enough that it's... It's like, clearly I have brain damage. Let's, uh, let's do the story. Roberto, 
so wonderful to see you after so many years. And your companions, too, of course. Good to see you looking so well, Cervantes. That's his name? Now, I don't suppose Don Rodrigo's about for a wee chat, is he? Ah, lo siento, senor, so sorry. But I am afraid he has gone to Eliador. He's instructing the guards there in the art of swordsmanship, you see. The guards? Ah, now that's a shame. I do so love our wee chats about fighting and horses and... fighting. Don Rodrigo will be sorry to have missed you too, senor. He often speaks of your visits very fondly. Well, I'm sure we'll have a chance for a proper chinwag next time I'm in town. Now, there's something I was wanting to ask you, Cervantes. I was hoping to head out to sea in search of more interesting topics of conversation. You couldn't open the sea gates for me, could you? It will be my pleasure, Senor Roberto. Can you imagine how angry Don Rodrigo would be if I refused? <laughs> I will open them right away. If you go on board your ship, you will be able to sail straight through. You're a good man, Cervantes. Thanks a million. And give my regards to Don Rodrigo, won't ye? The luminary just stares. That's, that's his speciality, he just stares. He stares and he fights. Let me in! No? Okay. Well, I can't go through his things? I think I was here already, actually. Yeah, I saw this. Um, yeah, there's a lot of red books throughout the world. They all have, they all have lore. Or, they have recipes where you can build new bunny outfits and stuff. I could just zoom over to my ship, right? Like, if I really, really wanted to, I could just zoom the fuck over there. instead there's a channel here it flows out uh, of the city across the champs suavage into the open sea that is why it is known as the gateway to Erdria. It grants ships from the inner kingdoms access to the ocean waves you're heading to the open sea yourself magnifico i'm very jealous senor no one's listening buenos dias senor welcome to puerto valor okay you are sailing out onto the open ocean the end. Just be sure to prepare well before you depart. There are very things are very different on the other side of those gates. Did he sing that? <laughs> things are very different outside these gates. Uh... Boom! The thud is very satisfying. You don't get experience for this, but the thud is very nice. Sometimes you just want to see the world and all the pop in. You do get a very small amount. Oh.
boat music is good. I have to wonder, is the boat music for this game specifically, or is it from another Dragon Quest? It's from 4. <laughs> I wonder it's so good. Give them a nice thank you wave, everybody. Uh, I think... Uh-oh. Oh, that explains Silvando's accent, too. So he's the son of the Don. Kel Jista. Interesting. That's my guess. I don't know. I mean, it makes sense now. There's like a little port right over there. That's weird. Is there a Brittany in this game? No, I haven't oh, found a Brittany yet. I'm, I'm very sad about that. Oof. Wonderful. Why no use old? Well, I also haven't used Eric. Someone just posted this in chat. <laughs> what the fuck? Where'd you get that from? Oh no. Ugh, where did all this horrible fog come from? I can't see a thing. Hey, Sylv, what's going on? I'm truly mystified. Oh, but fuck whatever off. it is, I don't like it. Steering hard a starboard. The mists are clearing. I can see light up ahead. Where in the world are we? The fuck? The strand. Okay. Sorry, honey, but I haven't a clue where we are. This island doesn't appear on any of my maps. I want to wave bye-bye to this forsaken place as soon as possible, but so long as the stallion's stuck on that sandbank, we're staying right here. Sorry, dollface, but the ship's stuck on a sandbar. We ain't going nowhere for the minute. Me and Silver are gonna see if we can push the old girl out. You lot just sit tight. Everything will be sorted out in no time. Something's not right about this place. No wind, no waves. It almost feels like time has stopped altogether. There seems to be a weird fucking cat on this island. What a pretty little island this is. It just looks like one of the, the it looks just like the one in the picture book I always used to read when I was a when I was little. I always said to Veronica that I'd like to go there and to meet the handsome prince who lived there too. Every, you can see everyone's outlook. There's absolutely nothing here! Let's not waste any more time than we have to. As soon as the wind picks up, we're getting back on the hunt for the orbs. So weird. What a strange place. It's almost like being in a dream. for you ever since the day we said goodbye. Oh my god. Oh. 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 Hey! What do you think you're playing at scaring a 
us like that. And there's no need to look so disappointed to see us. Well, there's just been anime girl after anime girl. <laughs> we, we just need um, Veronica to call her a himbo. to catch me in a net you're different from most other human beings that i've met my name's michelle i'm sorry if i gave you all a fright it it's just i thought my car was back and i got all excited wow i can't believe i'm talking to a real live mermaid <laughs> but anyway Who's this Kai you keep talking about? He's a tender-hearted fisherman from Lona Lolo Bay. <laughs> he promised he would meet me here <laughs> upon our wedding day. Oh, God, you're rhyming. Your wedding day? I didn't even think humans and mermaids could get married. At first, I was the same. I thought we'd never be together. I thought the mermaid's burden would keep us apart forever. For if a mermaid leaves the sea and makes the land her home, if ever she gets wet no. again, no. she melts away to foam. No. But when I told my Kai I couldn't come to live with him, he said, in that case, Shell, you better teach me how to swim. Oh, Shell, I get it. So got the blessing of the queen beneath the sea. I need He's the Tums. To come to Nautica and live down there with me. I need the Tums. Oh, oh, oh it's too many. Congratulations. <laughs> but he's supposed to meet me here so we can be together. And I've been waiting for him now for what feels like forever. I know he'd never break his word. He's not that sort of person. But the longer that he stays away, the more my worries worsen. I know it's rude to ask you, but I beg, I plead, I pray. Could you go to Lona Lulu and make sure my Kai's okay? Oh my god. Hmm. I'm just a cat, so lady. I don't know what you want from me. Where the giant pearl from the story went. I wonder. Aha! How about this? If we go and check on your fiance, will you take us down to see the queen? To pay for such a kindness, it's the least that I can do. I'll sing my song and safely sink your ship and all your crew. If anyone knows the truth about this giant pearl, it's the Queen of the Sea. If it leads us to another one of the orbs, it's worth helping, wouldn't you say? I keep expecting rhymes now from everybody. No. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I had a sudden urge to stretch my legs. Let me ask you that again. If anyone knows the truth about this giant pearl, it's... Oh, I'm sorry. I had a. If anyone knows the truth about. Yes, I agree. Thank we should you, help. Thank you, all of you. I'd be indebted to you if you could try to find him in the town of Lona Lulu. I'll mark the village on your map. It's to the south of Hotto, a beautiful <laughs> blue bay behind an isolated grotto. My Kai is a famous fisherman, as ragged as the ocean. A hunky, chunky sailor stuffed with smoldering emotion. Eh. Oh. oh, now I'm all embarrassed. <laughs> Don't tell him what I said. Just bring my darling back so we can finally be wed. <sighs>
This madness you must stop and make it double quick for a fish you are. Uh, which can be turned into a stick. Um, make it double quick for a fish you are, Colonel. I'm dummy thick. Oh, that's ten. I could go back to the place now. I am word with that, Michelle. Lovely girl. And you ain't gonna believe this. <laughs> She's only going to use them. I don't remember what this dude sounds like. I think I'm just gonna, like, disembark here, on this little island, real quick. And then, uh, zoom back, get my mini metal reward. And then, zoom back over here. Oh wow, this place looks... That- that is, uh, big Hulk naked... Naked Hulk. You can't zoom to this place? Well, shit, I'll just... ...sail back here, I guess. Or I can zoom back to the Strand. Just wish to claim my reward. I have... I have the mini medals. Colonel, I found a mermaid. That's weird, Snake. Why did you say it like that? <sighs> the top hash is the fish. Snake, are you having a stroke? Yes. The heart of Hermes. Is wow. It's good agility. Can no one else equip that armor? That vine that my character can equip. Oh, all right then. Never mind. Here I was trying to finagle a way to get back to Vine's original outfit. <laughs> I just don't want to walk around like this. This one's. I kind of like this one, but again, it's it's just unbefitting of the character. I, I kind of want to. I'm gonna run around like this for a little bit. But I also... am aware... I'm aware that the mouse is not in the pocket, and that's very upsetting to me. I'm only aware of the mouse because of Smash Brothers. People were telling me, sh like, a shortcut to access Zoom, but it doesn't quite work, does it? It's Y-A-A. -A. Yeah.
We got a bunch of Britneys in the chat. Yeah! I, I'm just so happy that Will Smith is the new hottest YouTuber on the planet. I mean, it's good, too, because he can, like, pivot from his acting career if he keeps doing more trash like Gemini Man. That said, I'm a big fan of a lot of Will Smith's movies. Yeah, booty blast. Gemini Man was bad. I don't know. I, I I've heard it wasn't amazing, but who do you who do you really trust? Trust no one, not even yourself. That's correct. That's why you can't trust reviews. Hot stuff coming through. I just want to steal from the big thing. Eric still needs a, a lot more. Like, Eric barely has any spells. But I got a horn! This could work, right? Cattle prod? On this thing? Not really, never mind. There are gloves that increase Eric's steel chance. What is this, Final Fantasy IX? Someone just said, is that Jay Leno Hulk? So, uh, Eric, tell me, you like to steal cars? Son of Uragan. <laughs> sizzle learned. I got that in Smash Brothers. That's Sizzle. Just check out Eric's thing. Is this the dual wielding for? Oh, wait, no, no. Um, a slice strike that can see poison to paralyze enemies taking six times the usual damage. Well, I got this for sleeping. Critical hit. There's a question mark over here. Get the victimizer. Well, I could also get cobra strike. Stabs an enemy in such a way that they're occasionally envenomed. It's under guile? What's under guile? What, what are you trying to get me to get, chat? What's the, se the secret? What is the secret? Sonic Boom? Cool game. Oh, he's going to be in Monkey Ball, Sonic. I can't even get Cobra Strike yet. I can either get Critical Hit, or I can get... I can save up for Victimizer. Secret panel is Assassin's Stab. An attack on an enemy's weak point that can sometimes kill them instantly. Wow. Okay. Does anyone else hear the cricket? There's like a really loud cricket. Uh, 
IRL, not like in game, like real life, real life cricket. Magical mending, hymn of thunder, hymn of air, hymn of earth. Uh, you don't hear it. I don't worry about it, chat. Okay, I'm going to do the tech trees later because, oh god, Jade. I've done nothing for Jade. Or Rab. Give Jade points for Allure. Increases Charm. What does Charm do, chat? Spears for Jade and Allure. Puff, just puff puff stuff. This is... Here we go. Cattle Prod. Uh, you can always reset this stuff, but I want to just grab a little bit more for Jade, because she's, she's lacking the stamina. It's pep increase. I don't want that. Uh, Thunder Thrust. <laughs> Doesn't connect often, but when it does, it can cause a critical hit. Deliverance. Okay. Um, Serena has that. Attack power while well, I'm just going mental with Jade's attack power right now. Party pooper. Sweeping swing of the spear that can strike a group of enemies simultaneously. I'll save up for that. And and Rab. His trees are weird. I'm just gonna get some magical might. Let's see if I can unlock this middle one here. Caster Sugar increases the effectiveness of the user spells. Staff and Enlightenment. Yeah, I was doing claws. It's weird that there's no music for this. I agree. A little bit of music for this section would be nice. Music acquired. I'm going to come back to this on my own. Because it's just, there's a lot. I'm going to have to do, like, a lot of reading and thinking. I don't, I don't have that ability while I'm streaming. I'm just so happy I was able to replace the main world theme. Which, again, not bad. I wouldn't mind hearing it a little bit here and there, but... An adventurer, are ya? And then often we get folks like you coming around here. It's places for hermits, exiles, and other assorted outcasts. When I was younger, I'd get up all sorts of pirate and pillaging and the like, Now I spend my days just staring out to sea. This ain't no place for a globetrotting traveler like you. I reckon it's time you were on your way. I'm not on my way until I've had some chicken. And I'm gonna sleep in your bed too, you fucking jerk man. I'm not leaving until I've had this cunt's chicken. still don't know how to open these doors. Or rather, I don't have the key. Q. 
key is to make it. A single jowler. All right. So if I can put this enemy to sleep, then I can do an attack that does six times damage. That hurt. I have the skill, yeah. Let's see. So this is how much damage Eric can do. Pretty good. And the thing is still not dead. Holy shit, Jay Leno, please. Well, you know, I just wanted to go back to late night. Is a regular key? I just wanted to steal the job from Conan! I'm convinced Jay Leno doesn't know how to say Conan. He, he just kind of like slurs the end. Conan! Conan! I mean, this is all theoretical Leno. That's not real Leno. Yeah, I don't know where the key is for that. Okay, so I need to get to... Oh, there's the zoom. How do I... Oh. I gotta go all the way down there. I was gonna say, is there a way to find the names of these places on the map? Just on the zoom. Very calm ocean. Never mind. <laughs> and it's not a real otter. That's a thing wearing an otter outfit. We're gonna loop. Hey, maybe. Maybe. I don't believe there's loopage. It's just missed. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, it makes the world seem bigger than it is, at least. There is loopage. Oh. I haven't checked out the 2D stuff. Um, I just didn't like how slow the 2D stuff was in uh, the past challenges or whatever, so I just said fuck it. One day I'll check it out, but I know it also starts you at the beginning of the chapter. I, I have looped, but not in, in the most pleasurable of ways. We'll get there. Let's 
just gonna spam attack real quick. Or I'll just do this. That's cool too. Ah, uh, fuck off. Oh! I watched, uh, what did I watch? I finished Halloween 3, by the way. Spoilers for the Halloween 3 movie, a movie from 1982, I think, or 84, or whatever it was. Um, that movie is stupid. So it was on Jay's list from Red Letter Media to watch for Halloween, and I'm glad I watched it. It's a Halloween without Michael Myers, and here's the spoilers. So, so let me just say, I still think it's worth watching because it's it's campy and funny, and it, it does fit the season. Like it, it actually is a pretty decent movie, but this was the attempt to make it an anthology series, and it uh, didn't do well. So they went back to Michael Myers to death. But here's a spoiler for Halloween Three. It gets really stupid and wacky later on. And it involves Stonehenge and robots and kids wearing masks that turn into bugs. It's so fucking weird compared to like Halloween and the rest of it, like the rest of the franchise. Like the idea is that this company, Silver Shamrock, makes masks for kids, like Halloween masks, and they play a commercial, a TV commercial. Each mask is infused with a little bit of Stonehenge. And when they play the commercial, I thought it was going to be mind control. No, the mask just dissolves on their faces and turns into bugs. It's so fucking bizarre. But overall, I'd still recommend watching it if you have any interest in campy, dumb Halloween movies. It's, um... It's fun. I also watched, um, a Zeltic video about the strongest Link in, in Zelda history. It's like 40 minutes, and I would highly, highly recommend it. Um, we talked about it a little bit on stream, and I don't think I watched the whole thing, but I just watched the whole thing, and it was amazing. Just type which link is the strongest Zeltic. Z E L T I K, I believe is how you spell it. Um, which one is it? Well, it's close between the Hero of Time and the Hero of Legend from Link's Awakening and Link to the Past. Again, watch the video. People that are saying wrong, you'll see the dude has a very, very well thought out argument uh, for each hero. And why they're strong, and why they're they have experience and their equipment. You may not agree, but it's very good video, very good. Oh, here we are, beautiful <laughs> Lona Lulu. Seaside paradise that Shell tells me is home to the prettiest pals in all the world. What the fuck is this guy? <laughs> what are you doing, man? Pals. Bright blue waves, pure white sands, and fabulous jewels just lying on the beach. Truly, darlings, this is the promised land. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. He's T posing now. Well, he's doing a Jesus pose anyway. Although it does seem a little less promising than I expected, where is everybody? Something's not right here. Still, it's not our problem. Let's just find this Kai guy and get out of here. Kai guy.
Welcome to Lonolulu, seaside paradise of crystal waters and perfect pearls. We hope you enjoy your stay. This is the Alolan region. If you're looking to trade for pearls, I'm afraid you've come at a bad time. A nasty tentacular has been stirring up trouble in the seas south of here. And the men haven't been able to catch a thing. I'm sorry, but we're all sold out. You're looking for Kai. I didn't know that boy had any friends. You should go see his ma. You'll find her up at the church. During the day, anyhow. Yeah. Speaking of ma... MA! There's a weird looking... How did I make my voice do that? That's not at all what I attempted to do. And then it just happened. I can't do it again. Limit, break your voice. It needs pep power. Um, I've came all- I came all this way to this far-flung backwater to buy some of their famous pearls, but it seems giant- certain giant squid has other ideas. It's making a nuisance of itself off the coast and stopping the fishermen doing their jobs. Now they're completely out of stock. Did you come here looking for pearls, too? I'm afraid it looks like all we can do is pray that the locals finish off the horrible thing quickly so they can get back to their work. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to kill this squid, aren't I? What is Goku? What is Goku doing here? Child of Goku. It's, yeah, it's Gohan. Are you all paying attention? Good. And look, there's our cat in the background. I'll tell you the tale of the terrible curse that befell our village long ago. The curse of a crafty creature. With a face as pretty as a pearl, but a heart as black as coal. Now, let's begin. Once upon a time, a master fisherman lived in Lanalulu. At the beginning of a Zelda game. He caught more fish and gathered more pearls than any of the other men in the village. The mayor of Lanalulu, the big kahuna, was very fond of this fisherman and offered him the hand of his beloved daughter. All right, where's the mermaid? The fisherman and the kahuna's daughter agreed to be married and the future of the village looked bright. Until the day of the storm. The fisherman was caught up in a terrible tempest, and he and his catch were thrown into the ocean. As he sank through the water, he saw the pearls he had gathered shining like stars all around him. The light faded, and he prepared to meet his maker. Time to but die. Instead, he met her. A mermaid more beautiful than any creature he had seen before. She held him in her arms and whispered in his ear. She whispered. I will give you your life if you give me your soul. What? 
Many days passed, and the fisherman did not return. It's free real estate. People of the village thought him dead, and held a funeral for him on the beach. But just as they were beginning to sing his soul into the next world, he appeared, exhausted but alive. The Kahuna's daughter was overjoyed to have her beloved home, and stayed by his bedside night and day, nursing him back to health. Oh, so Palpatine's behind it all. But the fisherman was no longer the man she knew. Oh, shit. All day he would stare out to sea, muttering over and over, I must marry that mermaid. Then one day, he threw his fiance aside and ran to the harbor, screaming, I must go back to her. The Kahuna was furious. He banished the fisherman from the village and burned his boat huh. so he could never set sail again. Surely there are other boats. And so... The man who was once the pride of Lonolulu spent the rest of his days alone on Saikiki Beach, haunted by the mermaid who stole his soul. Royalty free fire dot wave. That's all for today, children. I'll tell you the rest of the story. Hot tomorrow. break sound effect. friends is there anything i can do for you yes my cat here needs some hey, cat food we're looking for a fisherman called kai do you know where we can find him look it's ma oh, it's the cat my. and it's the dude that what says that the cat's weird you must be looking for my son kai Nui. are you friends of his it's perfect i'm afraid he's not here at the moment all the men have sailed west to fight the giant squid that's been attacking our ships. If you want to hurry things along, maybe you could go lend a hand. Once that monster's dealt with, they'll all come back to the village, sure enough. Okay. Uh, before I go, I'd like to let you know my name is John, and my cat's name is Garfield. That squid isn't the only danger out on the seas. Don't let a crafty mermaid make you all pupule. I'd pupule. hate to see you go crazy. Okay, thanks, dude. Where's Gohan? I need to talk to Gohan. I have to tell him about the Dragon Balls. You, he knows already? Okay, never mind. Oh, hey, you. Oh, you got one of those passwords? Eventually, maybe I'll do some of these. I don't have the nostalgia for the previous game, so... I obviously... That's one... That's one less incentive to do them. But apparently you get, like, accessories and stuff on propane. So what's the password? It's password. Well, well, yeah, what is it? It's, it's password. That was- that's the password? Don't need any of this stuff yet. Still... Still riding kinda high. Trident? It's pretty nice. Cannot afford any of this stuff. So never mind that. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and need that treasure chest real quick. Oh.
I'll just save my money. Uh, chat said go to the hill on the east side of this place. I also would like to try to fight the squid and see the mermaid plotline resolve this stream without sacrificing too much Dead Space 2 playtime. But we shall see. I just took my damn time, you know? I just wanted to explore the world a little bit and show everybody the casino, the casino yacht. But here we are now. Less time. What the fuck? Aloha, friend. Is there something I can do for you? Vine tells the cannon leader that his friends are gonna help fight the tentacular. Well, wanna borrow one of my beautiful cannons? Tentaculars hate loud noises, you know. When they hear cani canono, they go pupale. <laughs> I'll let you have one, but you gotta promise to take good care of it. They're all I have to remind me of my late husband. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Chaka when the walls fell. That's what I like to hear. Just so you know, it doesn't actually fire anything. None of my babies do. I couldn't live with myself if they ever hurt anybody. Still, the noise should be more than enough to spook that squid. It's a little big to carry around in your bag, so I'll have the villagers wheel it over to that ship of yours. It tells you where the sparkly spots are, or the ones that you got. Oh! This whole time, I had no idea you could just consult the map for sparklies. Interesting. There's another sparkly by the beach over there. Oh, okay, it shows you which- okay, that's cool. Can't we just put a cannonball or a, or a weird-looking cat inside the cannon and have it do some real damage? Also, I think I might have to, like, activate a cutscene. Can I make it shoot Bowsers? Bowsers? No. Gotta sail to a certain point. Oh, okay. There's a group of ships along the coast. Oh, okay. I thought I had to, like, activate a cutscene. There, there we go. Gallant squid hunters. I wonder which ones are blushing husband to be. <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> <laughs> here. Excuse me. Which one of you big brave boys is Kai? Hmm. They look like they're saying something, but I can't quite make it out. A good view. I love you! Yes, those two things. Above you, watch out! Look! Above you! Above you? Look out! Up there! Oh, shit. <laughs> oh! Squib. Oh, you have 
got to be kidding. I fought this thing in Bloodstained. Just saying. So, we meet again, Senor Squeeb. I picked up a little present uh, for you in Lona Lulu. Everyone, cover your ears! Um, that was not the cutscene I was expecting. Say hello to my enormous friend! Sylvando's so packing chance, heat. My loves. Let's turn this tentacle travesty into fish food. Did he say tentacled? I'm ready for anything. All right, here we go. They're, okay, the tentacles are confused. This is a good thing. Uh, I'm gonna go for right tentacle first. Blow away. Yeah. Can I put a tentacle to sleep? Guess not. You can put your leg to sleep. Oh, good point. I might need... Just a little bit of a lineup change for a second. Do we have flying enemies? Thunder thrusts. Nice hit. You'll soon be feeling right as rain. The only character I haven't used today in a combat situation is the cat. Ow. Okay, now we need some real healing. More heal. Uh, we could do a mid heal to Rab. Cattle prod, harvest moon, hip drop. Do the bump and jump. Uh, I mean, there's more of a chance that that will hit, but I'm gonna try thunder th thrust. Wow, good hits. Mate, you are so fucked. Dude's got so many spells. Fuck. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm a little overpowered at the moment, maybe. Part of that is... broken-ass equipment from gambling. Holy shit. <laughs> Apparently this boss can stomp real hard. Apparently Dunky gave up on this boss. You're not overleveled, by the way. Well, maybe it's just the weapons that I have with Silvando and... and Vine. <laughs> Darlings, it was nothing, really! Plus the cannon? I don't know. It's hard to say. I don't, I'm not sure why I stomped that boss mahalo, so much. Mahalo. Whoever you people are, I can't thank you enough. But I can sure feed you enough. Tonight, we're gonna have a luau to remember, and you're gonna be the guests of honor. Eric, is that you? Get ready to drink, dance, and fill your belly with fish till you fall down. Come one, come all to Lona Lulu. <laughs> Jang Trang. No, that just sounds like Eric's voice actor. He's drunk. It's so much fun sailing with Silver the Salty Stallion. He's my best mate. He's dead. I call it Alo Aloha Tentacular. On second thought, I don't- I don't need that song. Thank you, anyway. They're not- ch chat, they're not drunk. This is on a Nintendo system. Oh god, the nun is drunk. Whee! I might have a few tasty beverages, but I can still speak with the spirits. Where's Kai? Don't ask me. Isn't this a wonderful party, darling? I'm making so many new, uh, so many fabulous new friends. Oh, and you simply must try the giant calamari. It's to die for. <laughs> Silvando is not drunk, by the way. Why not eat it? That's a lot of good meat. I've asked around about Kai, but nobody here, uh, seen him. Seems like he's not much of a party person. Shell's still waiting for us back on that island. We should try to track him down as soon as we can. May as well save... the drunk nun. The drunken nun. That sounds actually... like a place that you would go to. In, like, Boston. Uh, yeah, it sounds like a, a, a bar, a pub, a pub. The drunken nun. Ah, uh, that Kai really grinds my gears. This whole village is here having fun. He's nowhere to be seen. What's his problem? He's thinking about mermaids. Where do you think you're going? Oh. You're off to look for Kai, aren't you? Well, I'm coming with you. Oh, hello, Veronica. What are you doing out here? Oh, those stupid fish! 
fisherman said the party was only for grown-ups, so they couldn't let me in. Is every bar in the world full of stubborn idiots or something? Do you think, anyway, do you think she's mad because we're making her wear a cat you. costume? I've got nothing better to do, so I might as well join you. What is it with that boy? Here we are having the biggest luau in a generation and Kai still won't join in. Made some excuse about having to go down to the dock and fix his friend's boat. Oh shit, I, I know what Kai's doing. Take a good look, kid. This is what a real fisherman's body looks like. Uh, any monsters that climb on board my ship take one look at me and jump right back into the sea. I have maximized my body. No one inch is uneven with the other inch. Serena is so kind and gentle. Why can't my wife be more like her? <laughs> I'm helping to treat the wounded sailors, but something's rather strange. Uh, they keep coming back to me with new injuries. I've been asking them all their names, by the way, but I haven't come across a Kai yet. I hope he isn't too badly hurt to come to see me or anything. <laughs> so nervous. Come on! Come on! She's so pretty. She's an angel! <laughs> Chat! <laughs> Chat! God, someone just threw out in chat! Cock injured! <laughs> Tell me, Trevor! Have you seen my no cut? No, no husband! He said he was going to get his head examined, whatever that means. I should get mine looked at for marrying such a dope. Oh, what is wrong with me? That wasn't even that funny. It's just the way the chat member typed it. In all caps, I don't, I don't know. Fucking hell. It's like any of the things that I may be thinking that I don't want to say, I could just look over to chat and they're already saying it. Oh man, it's the shiny. I have to come back and get that. Hey, you're the guys who beat the tentacular, right? We owe you one for sure. You should get back to the luau until the... I'll bet the rest of the men will be missing their guests of honor already unless you get some business with me. You're looking for a guy called Kai. Huh? Sure, that's me. Kai Nui to my mom, but everyone just calls me Kai. What do you want? Sorry, but I'm not the man from your story. You must have me mixed up with somebody else. Hm. Don't give us that nonsense. You we himbo. Know you're the only Kai in Honolulu. If you never meant to marry that poor mermaid, you should never have proposed to her. Hey, go easy on the accusations, will you? People here got no love for mermaids. If they think I do, I'll be in trouble. Voice acting. The Kai you're looking for is my grandfather, Kainoa. I take it you've heard the tale of the mermaid's curse? Yes, yes, you're I, I just gotta choose no it. more often. Sorry about that. I can't see what an old fairy tale has to do with anything. You can't keep Michelle waiting any longer. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's not a fairy tale, it's true. The fisherman from the story, that was my tutu, my grandpa. <gasps> Pulled fish. It all happened 50 years ago, and it happened just like my ma tells it. But the story didn't end there. Please narrate a story for me. Ten years after grandpa got chased out of the village, the kahuna's daughter, Leilani, she married another man. And they had a kid together. 
After the baby came, the people started to forget about Kainoa and the curse the mermaid put on him. Till one day, another great storm struck, even more violent than the one that sent my grandfather to the bottom of the sea. The kahuna's boat went down, and him and his daughter's new husband went with it. The men who survived went to break the news to Leilani, but when they got there, her and the baby, they were nowhere to be found. The villagers said it was the mermaid's revenge, that she took all four of them because she couldn't have Kainoa. Yes. So they lit torches and they marched to Saikiki Beach up. to confront him. When they threw open the door of his hut, they couldn't believe what they saw. What? He'd been living all alone for the last ten years. But there he was with a baby in his arms. And the baby, it was dripping with water. They became Smurfs? They ran off screaming, talking about how he must have had a kid with the mermaid. And that was the last time oh, anyone from the village went to Saikiki. Hmm. Wait, but that baby must have been your mother, which would mean she was half mermaid, which would make you... Take off your hat. Cooly cooly, don't even say it. My mother is a human being. My grandpa found her abandoned on the beach and raised her as his own. I'm a human being. My name is Anakin. Kid with a mermaid. That's just a stupid rumor made up by a bunch of superstitious fishermen. If that mermaid really is still out there somewhere waiting for grandpa, there's something I want you to give her. Meet me on Saikiki Beach. It's on the other side of the cape. You can get there through the chapel at the back of the village. I'll leave the door unlocked. Canadian. Hmm. Canadian voice actor, maybe. All right. Um, I'm just gonna do this. I, I really want to see this. The fisherman ran up to the church just now. He looked very upset. I do hope it's not another injury. Oh, that was Kai. How strange. I thought I'd be pleased to hear that Michelle was still thinking of him. He looked rather gloomy. It's ripped! What is? My hood! What, what do you mean? Well, when I went out, when I was out to sea, um, I was wearing a hoodie. You know, to protect against the elements and it ripped. Can you, can you knit it back together? Can, can you sew it back together? My son just passed through here. He's always been a quiet boy, but he looked like he was biting his lip more than ever. That door leads to Saikiki Beach, it's home to the village graveyard where the souls depart, return to the ocean. I knew he always hated that place. Why would he go there now? You're looking for Kai. You just missed him. He was here a moment ago, but he ran straight through the door without even saying hello. Poor lad, look a bit upset. Whatever dead space time doesn't happen tonight, I will make up for it on the subsequent Dead Space 2 stream. So, I just want to see this uh, plot. I want to see this plot line through. So if, if I like only do an hour and a half Dead Space 2 today, I'll do two and a half hours next time. This veil was my tutus. Ma said when she found him after he died, he was just lying there holding on to it. Guess there was a reason I never threw it away. If you really know where to find that mermaid, I want you to take it to her and tell her he's dead. 
Apparently, this voice actor has acted opposite Anthony Hopkins. What the fuck? Look, I'm sorry if I was kind of short with you back there, but it hasn't been easy for me and my ma. After Grandpa died, they let her go back to the village and marry a local guy, but it didn't stop folks talking. But she rose above it, turned it into that story show of hers. And now that's how she makes her living. She's a smart woman. Tough, too. I hate that mermaid for what she's put us through. And I don't want my kids to suffer like we have. The Kahuna's finally letting me sail with the other men. The curse is nearly undone. Please, take the veil and let that be an end to it. Okay. Someone just raised a good point that even Peter Dinklage has not voice acted well at times. Either bad direction, script issues, or it's just a really, it's like a different thing. Can I steal the bones? Not just Destiny? Zoom to the island. I will zip zoom. I just want to save first. Well, in this case, yeah, I don't think the the voice acting is terrible. It's just very, very dry. It's also, you know, it's fantasy Hawaii. Some people do talk like that. Some people are more monotone than others. God damn it! Like, in my mind, it says, Do you wish to quit playing? And I'm like, No, I don't wish to quit playing. Well, at least that doesn't take too long. Alright, so we'll just zoom on over and finish the quest. Steal men's souls! Hello again, my friend. I'm so, so happy you've returned. It's been so long since you went off, I got a bit concerned. I'd worried that your ship had sunk or Kai had gone away. That's why I'm singing happy songs to keep my tears at bay. But you don't need to know that. Seriously, shut up, Shell. The only thing that matters now is that you're safe and well. So tell me, did you find my Kai? Is he as well as ever? Is he on his way to meet me here so we can be together? Lie to Michelle? No. Vine tells Michelle the truth. My Kai is dead? That can't be true. I don't believe a word. It's ludicrous, ridiculous, preposterous, absurd. Hold on a minute. What's that thing you're holding in your hand? A net of pearls or seashells on a pretty coral band? You say my Kai made this veil to wear when we were wed and clutched it as he passed away? You're saying that he's... dead? No, please, no, it can't be so. I know he'd never break that promise that he made to me. There must be some mistake. How can my Kai have passed away? I nursed him back to health. I simply won't believe it till I find out for myself. I need to meet the Kai you met and hear it straight from him. Take me to Lona Lulu. You can sail and I can swim. What's that? Why don't I come aboard? Oh, thanks. You're very kind. There's lots to think about. I'll follow on behind. Can I just zoom back? They don't like mermaids over there. Pfft. 
fuck. Vine and his friends sail back to Lanolulu. They drop anchor in the waters off Saikiki Beach to keep Michelle from the eyes of the feel fearful fishermen. The locals see a mermaid. It'll fill their hearts with fear. I'll hide on this abandoned beach and wait for Kai right here. I'm sorry to keep asking, but this is my final plea. Would you please find that man you met and bring him back to me? kid gets so popular. Well, he won't be out at sea this time of night. Have you tried his house? It's the last one on the right when you head out of the village. <laughs> so did you give that mermaid the veil? Yes. Mahalo, thanks, friend. Sorry for making you take care of that for me. I should do something for you in return. Fix up your ship. Go get you some pearls, maybe? Just say the word, huh? You want me to go to Saikiki Beach with you? Why would you want to go to a lonesome place like that? Well, if you're sure that's what you want, I guess a promise is a promise. Lead the way. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be just lovely. Oh, I can tell this is gonna be- this is gonna be rich. But I have a question for you, chat. Why do you play Happy Mermaid games with CBT and not shoot games, Mr. Streamer? Why have you brought me here? Oh, not, yeah. oh god. That voice! It's music to my ears! <laughs> I feel like I could cry. Oh darling, tell me is it you? My one and only Kai? Yeah, I'm Kai. Do I know you? Save a bit what? of money on motion capture there. You're a mermaid. Oh, silly me. I'm always far too quick to jump for joy. You don't know me. I don't know you. You're not my darling boy. No, I'm not. The man you loved, he was my grandfather. But he's not here anymore. My darling Kai, my one true love, the one that I adored. You died alone and friendless on this cold and windswept shore. Oh, how could I forget we mermaids live 500 years? Quick as a flash, a human life just ups and disappears. Without Kai, hours seem to pass too slowly to be true. But now I see cruel time was flowing faster than I knew. <sighs> Alright, see ya. Oh. Thanks for finding Kai for me. You've been a proper friend. To trace my love across the sea until the bitter end. 
I said I would reward you, and I mean to pay that debt. You'll find your prize upon the selfsame island where we met. I'm sorry I can't come along and see you on your way. But now I'm here, I can't go back. I think I have to stay. Yeah. Whoa, 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 what are you, glowing? Oh, you become the humans? What? What the hell? I waited for you so, so long, through sun and stormy weather. But now it's time. At long, long last, we're going to be together. Are you gonna, like, drown yourself? Don't do that. Oh no! <laughs> so soft yet strong and honest. The hands of one who'd never ever make a faithless promise. A mermaid who sets foot on land will perish in the brine. But that's alright. I got to meet my darling one last time. Had been a human, or if he had been like me, perhaps we could have lived together, happy as can be. But I'm a mermaid, he's a man, there's no point asking why. He was my one true love, but now it's time to say. She's gonna win an Academy Award for this. Oh shit, oh okay, goodbye. Oh. Wow, okay. That ended a lot darker than I expected. I can't stop thinking I've seen her somewhere before. Of course! Grandpa's cabin! So, Grandpa wasn't bewitched. It was true blub. How, how would you forget seeing that? A letter. This is Grandpa's handwriting. Dearest beloved, ever since you saved me on the day of the great storm, the dream of one day being reunited with you is all I have lived for. Oh, shit. But now I fear that dream is over. Forgive me, my darling, but I cannot keep my promise. Some years after my boat was burned and I was exiled to this beach, the fishing fleet was hit by another great storm, and many people lost their lives. The Kahuna and his daughter Leilani's husband were among them. One night, not long afterward, I saw a woman standing on the cliffs. She had a baby in her arms. It was Leilani, the woman who was once to be my wife.
With her father and husband gone, mm. she had lost all hope and all reason. I called out to her, but in her grief, she could not hear me. Before my disbelieving eyes, oh my God. she threw herself into the ocean. I tried to save them. I did everything I could, but only the baby survived. to row back home you're not in any pain <laughs> this I voice you'd let me keep you till you're fighting fit again don't worry about me michelle you fixed me up real good i'm fitter than ever huh? ah! <laughs> <sighs> I know you've got to go. There's things you have to do. Just promise me you'll be back soon. I'll wait right here for you. Well, there's no happy ending here. That's a real baby. It's all my fault. <laughs> I'm sorry, Michelle. I I can't leave. Oh, okay, that's why he didn't build I a boat. I can't just be thinking of myself anymore. This child needs me. The villagers say you put a curse on me, but it's only because they don't understand. They don't want what happened to me to happen to anybody else. You have to forgive them. They don't know you like I do. They don't know you at all, and what they don't know, they fear. I sometimes wonder if you're still sitting there on that rock, still waiting for me to return. But it's too late for me now. I'll never make it back there. I'll understand if you can never forgive me, but I want you to know one thing. She won't know any of this now. I love you. I always will. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have been so hard on you. Without you, I'd never have known all of this. Never met Michelle. <sighs> Damn it, Switch. All this time, I hated that mermaid for what she did to my grandfather. But now I see how he really felt. He wasn't cursed. He really loved her. Oh, okay. That was a lot. It was a lot emotionally and a lot, you know, just of sentences. But it was, it was good. I enjoyed that. I definitely like when, you know, a world is fleshed out. And I did not expect any of that mermaid shit. It's very sad. Uh, we're gonna stop playing this in a moment. But apparently there's a... There's a thing on, on the island. If you lie to her, she decides to wait for him, so she stays on the island forever. Why would I do this?
no, but boot is only 20 minutes. Here. Lorelei's harp. There's a note at the bottom of the chest. Dear friend, if you're reading this, it means I've gone away. If what you've said to me is true, I don't think I can stay. Thank you for all you've done for me, and please don't feel so sad. After my Kai, you're the kindest friend I've ever had. I promised that I'd take you to the mermaid seabed town, and though I can't come with you now, this harp will take you down. You'll find a shining whirlpool far inside Inland Sea. Sail over it and strum that harp to meet Her Majesty. Please tell the Queen I'm happy now. There's no need to cry. I'm finally reunited with my dear darling Kai. Perhaps one day we'll meet again, but for now, farewell. You'll be my friend until the end. Yours, yours sincerely, Shell. You know, I've been thinking. Oh. Ah. Hmm. 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 Cool. Okay, well, I'm glad I did that whole thing on stream. That had a, a nice arc to it. Yes, I'm just gonna go save now at, at this place. Um, someone say go underwater real quick. Mate, I'm good. Space Meat is up next. Um, I'm gonna save the game, and, uh, and we will- we will be back. Underwater parts only 20 minutes? Oh, okay, I'll just- yeah, six hour of Dragon Quest XI stream then. Alright, stick around everybody, I will be back. Just gonna save the game, um, but thank you for watching. I know I'm not doing a full story stream of this, but... Again, a lot of people really seem to like watching me stream this game as much as I like playing it, and, uh, I'm glad you do. If you don't mind these sporadic once every couple weeks streams, then, you know, I'll do a couple of them here and there. It's just way too long of a game to stream the whole thing at this point. I don't really want to, but I'm enjoying it on my own. So anyway, thank you. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. Meet Space up next. Here's uh, an appropriate song, I think. <laughs>